Hi, this is Bill with Machinery Consultants in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to videotape this pre-owned heavy-duty LeBlanc 31 by 144 model NI heavy-duty lathe. The swing over the bed is 31 and a half inches. The swing over the cross slide is 18 and a half. It has 144 inches between centers. The spindle nose on this machine is an L3 with the number six Morse taper. We're currently running a 24 inch four jaw chuck. This machine has 16 spindle speeds from 6.5 to 400 RPM. It has 48 threads ranging from 3 quarter to 46 TPI. It has 48 feeds from 0 .004 to 0 .250 IPR. We'll show you the back of the headstock here. The main motor on this machine is a 25 horse main drive motor. The weight on the machine is approximately 25,500 pounds. The overall dimensions are 23 foot in length, 76 inch in width, and approximately 65 inches tall. This machine is complete with the 24 inch four jaw chuck. It's a hard way machine. It currently has an Aloris tool post set up with an Aloris tool block. Very nice. It also has two steady rests, nine inch and 13 inch hole capacity. We'll show you the back of the machine here to get a look of the side width, width of bed, I'd like to point out the width of the apron and the width of the bed. Very heavy pattern. And here's the rear full length taper attachment with the bed clamp in excellent condition. Speaking of this condition, the condition of the machine is very nice. It came to us from long time storage. We're going to go ahead and run the machine now. Run through some speeds and feeds. 11 RPM. I'd like to show you these ways here up near the headstock. 34 RPM. 34 RPM. Point out these ways here. One hundred RPM. One hundred RPM. How fast? 178. 178 RPM. Very nice. Some feet in that RPM. I'd like to real quickly show you the apron and the cross slide. Condition of the dial and the handle. Very nice. Here's the cross slide. That reverses the feed. That's the re feed reverse knob. What a heavy pattern machine. What was that that we just did?
engage the feed. Oh, no. Main clutch. Oh, main clutch, okay. Mm -hmm. I'd like to point out how easy it is to line up the dials for your RPMs. He's just lining up the dials and the ha excuse me, the handles for the RPM on the chart. Very simple. Just line it up and engage it. Go ahead, Frank. It's 300 RPM. Might want to watch out for that. Woo! 300 RPM. Yeah, please note it's just sitting here on wooden blocks. It's not leveled on the floor in our machine shop. Thank you. Boiler, very nice. I'd like to point out just the general condition of the handles and the dials and the charts. Everything's very clean and crisp. Laid out very simple. Spindle deceleration. Four hundred RPM. Very nice and smooth, 400 RPM, that's the top speed right there. Let me catch up with you on that tail stock, showing how simple that is to run. Very nice. I'd like to point out how nice this quill is on the tail stock. That's a number six horse taper in the board, beautiful. One last thing before we cut the video, uh, can we just show them the, the backlash and the general consensus of the handles and the dials? Let's go this way. Zero. Zeroed out, okay. Beautiful, right around 20 thousandths like it was new from the factory. The factory recommends between 20 to 25 on the screw, which is excellent, especially considering it has also a full-length taper attachment. Well, on behalf of Machinery Consultants, we'd like to thank you for reviewing this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Thanks again.